In our previous lessons, we looked at the different types of files that are used in the Office 365 applications. In this lesson, we're going to just look at saving files, and I'll try to show you a couple of things that will help save you some time. First of all, let's start with Word. We'll just create some random text. Now, the procedures for saving the files are going to work the same in Word and Excel and PowerPoint. So we have text in our file, and the first thing we need to do as we think about saving our work is just look up here at the title bar. And on the title bar, you'll see the name of the current file, and this shows to be document one. Now, if I were in Excel, this would say workbook one. If I were in PowerPoint, it would say presentation one. But notice there is no file extension. And that's because this is just the default name given to a new document that's being created and has never been saved. It's just called document one or workbook something or presentation something. So we're going to give this file a name. And if you're going to give a file a name, then that is the function of save as. When you're first learning how to use Office, you may be tempted to use your mouse and come over to File, and then come down to Save or Save As here. If you click Save As, it takes you to this window where you've got to navigate to where you want to go to save your file. That's a sort of several clicks to get to one location. There is a faster way, so I'm going to go back to where I was, and I'm have not saved this file under any file name yet so I'm just going to press the F12 key. F12 is just a very fast way of getting to the Save As dialog box and I'll come down to where I see file name already highlighted here and if you don't give a specific name then what Microsoft will do is just take the first few words of your document so you can see here that the first few words are video provides a powerful way and so on and so the file name here says video provides a powerful way blah 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 so and it's already highlighted and if it's highlighted in any of the office applications then that means it is selected and all you need to do is just start typing now what I'll see a lot of students do is try to hit delete to remove that but I see some students who will actually come out here and they'll spend all the time to backspace that out. You don't have to do any of that. So again, let's do this. Hit F12. Whenever you see something that's already highlighted and selected, all you have to do is start typing and that will replace that the it'll replace the text there that's already selected. And I'm just going to type R to start my random file name. And I'll just call it random file. And so here it's going to be saved as a .docx. Now, if you're told to save it as random file .docx, then you don't need to type in the .docx because whatever is selected here as save as type will automatically be added to the file name that you give to that file. And this is true in Excel and in PowerPoint both give you just an example here real quick. If I didn't want it to be a Word document, but maybe I wanted this to be a macro enabled document, if I select that, then you'll see that the computer automatically puts the file extension on here. It doesn't change your file name. It just adds this extension that shows here as save as type. It goes ahead and adds that extension up here. And so if I wanted a different type of file, maybe if I wanted to save this as a PDF, then it would just automatically put the .pdf on the end of this file name for me. So always whenever you're first creating a file and you're told to call it something .docx, don't spend your precious seconds of work time to type .docx and then because the computer is going to automatically put it on there for you. So random file and then I'm going to trust the computer to put the .docx on there and it's in my file extensions folder. Always be sure to look up here. This is where you see where your file is going to go. And the last folder that is shown here is where that file is going to go and that is in my file extensions folder. So I'll click Save. 
Now, if I open that folder, I can see here that I have the random file.docx file already saved to this folder. And then if I look at the title bar, it no longer says document one, but now it says random file.docx. Now, if I add more text to this file, if I just keep doing my work for the day and I want to save that, then I could come up and click File and Save. And that saved that file. It saved it under the current file name. Nothing has been changed other than the work that I did in that file. It did not change the file name. But why would I want to go File and come down and click Save? That's two clicks moving your mouse around when you could just come up to the Quick Access Toolbar and click on the square icon up here that looks like what we used to call a floppy drive and click on it because that is the quick way to save your file. That's one click to save it. Or what I could do, if I continue to add some more work into this file, I could just hit Control S because Control S doesn't require me to move my mouse at all, and that is the quick way to save a file. Remember that Save As always assumes that you're going to be changing the file name or giving a name to a file that doesn't have a name. So you're adding a file name whenever you're using F12. In this case, I'll hit F12 and come up and give it another file name. And I'll just call that Random File 2. Click Save. Now I can see up here that Random File 2 is what is showing in my, in my Office application here. If I open the File folder, I can see that both of those files exist. Now, very quickly, let me show you two other things that you can save in some of the Office documents. If I click on Design in Microsoft Word and come to the Themes, group here and I can come down and save a current theme so if I've changed the theme here maybe change the fonts or the colors or the background or whatever if I want to save this theme if I come to the save as type there are no options because it's THMX and that's true for Excel PowerPoint all of them so you there's only one type of file for office themes and Microsoft wants to place by default all of these theme sets that are being created up in this folder called document themes that's located in templates inside of Microsoft, inside of roaming, inside of app data. That's a long convoluted thing. You're never going to remember this, but just always notice where it's going to go because there may be times where you want this theme that you're creating to go to a different place. Microsoft will always try to put your themes into the document themes, but if I want that to be in a folder that I've created, then I can select that folder, make sure that that folder is showing up here, and then you'll give it some name and save, and now that's been saved in that folder as well. One other thing that you can save in Word but these don't exist in Excel and PowerPoint, and that would be new style sets. Style sets are going to be the way that the text appears in your document. And this is the same thing here, that there's only one way that you can save that, and that's into a templates folder. But again, always make sure that you're selecting the folder that you need up here in the directory. So you're going to put it in the file extensions folder. Great. That's where you want it. That's where you'll put it. But so always be sure to save your document under the proper file type. Make sure you're selecting the right folder and then use the keys for control S to save and F12 as save as and it'll save you a lot of work and a lot of time as you're creating these documents.